on the walk from the hotel and I want a quick bite to eat so I think I'm just gonna get this margarita pizza. Um, this over here, River City Cafe, was recommended from our uh, Lyft driver but it's completely packed. This hot tomato, we printed out the uh, restaurant so it was on our list of stuff to go to. So they're both good and this is the one because it wasn't busy. I don't know why not. It's got good reviews. All right, these are the appetizer personal bands. I will have to say this is the biggest personal band I've ever had. So his is pepperoni with extra cheese and I got the classic margarita, but I'm thinking his looks really good. And um, I just wanted something light because we have a dinner in like four hours. This is much bigger than expected. The waitress even said this is bigger than normal. So, all right, looks good though. I managed to eat most of the pizza, just a couple pizza bones left over. Robert, of course, finished his no problem. This is a jalapeno margarita. I wasn't gonna get a drink, but as soon as I saw jalapeno margarita on the menu, I just cannot resist. All right, they brought out pimento cheese and crackers, like as a gift, like instead of like a bread basket, they're chips and pimento cheese. I love pimento cheese, I'm very happy. This is she crab soup and oysters Rockefeller. All right, my favorite tuna poke and then fish bites, which is fresh uh, catch of the day fried. All right, they have a really good dessert menu, but the back has dessert drinks. And I'm thinking I might need that instead of like, say, a cookie. Very tempting. All right, I decided the s'mores and they brought me a birthday cake. That is so sweet. It's my only birthday cake of the day, so I'm very happy. It's like a fruity pebble mix. They know my, my heart's desire. All right, I decided on the s'mores martini. Oh my god, that food was so good. So if you come to Myrtle Beach, I highly recommend this restaurant. That birthday cake was free. Just a little bonus because they're super nice. And our waiter was awesome. And now we're just going to wait for Lyft. So beautiful. Yeah, they did move. It's they actually closed it. All right, we were originally going to eat at Dave and Buster's, but I changed my Looks mind. Good. Thank you. And we got crab. We this is the grumpy monk. We got crab dip and poutine. This poutine is good, but it's definitely not authentic because you're supposed to put cheese curds on it. As you can see, it's just like a slice of cheese <laughs> melted on, but the gravy is really good. All right, we stopped at River City Cafe. Oh, it does say it on the menu, sorry. They do have a couple fish dishes. And then they also have a blooming onion, which I have not had a blooming onion for years. So I definitely might have to get that. And then we get free peanuts. This blooming onion looks amazing. Before they sit someone at this booth, like this is like a really old building. Look, they asked us if we minded sitting in a small booth. It's a good thing I'm skinny because look, this width, I have to turn sideways and smush out. Oh my God. Yeah, but it does, it's very unique, unique. I got fried grouper and then Robert just got a cheeseburger and this has to be the best blooming onion we have ever had. It is cooked to perfection. Oh my God, that four is types of cheese. four types of cheese. No wonder he got that cheeseburger. 
four types of cheese, wow. We pretty much demolished that onion between the two of us. I'm really contemplating that last bite. But I don't know. I'm not gonna be able to finish the fries. But the fish was really, really good. For lunch, we're here at a Polish deli, Pulaski's Deli. I got the St. Louis platter, pierogi, cabbage roll, and then Robert just got the cabbage rolls. Um, this is like less than a mile from our hotel. It looked so good. And it's a cute little deli that I will do a video of afterwards. All right, they serve the chips in this bag, like so they're totally fresh made with the salsa. We're not here to eat dinner. We're just doing drinks and appetizer. See that butterfly? I put a fly on the sand on you. And we have this nice view of the marina. So I got a margarita flight. We might be here all day because I love the view. We're in the shade and it's beautiful. And there's like squirrels running around like crazy. This tree keeps dropping nuts on us. I got the margarita flight and what'd you get? Blood orange or prickly pear? Prickly pear. It's prickly pear. So mine's prickly pear, blood orange, and then what? Class. <coughs> Cactus. Excuse me as I choke on a tortilla chip. It's beautiful. This is a firecracker shrimp. It looks like a bunch of little small fried shrimp and delightful sauce. Alright, so I think about sitting outdoors. When you're surrounded by birds, I literally just got pooped on. It's a good thing I'm not squeamish and it landed on my leg. But seriously, I no longer like these birds. <laughs> They're rude. So rude. All right, we moved. We asked the waiter to move us in underneath this covering because I literally got pooped on again, twice. I mean, who gets pooped on twice by birds? It, it's, I just can't deal with it. You're having my luck. I'm not having good luck. So now we're still outdoors, just a nice covering away from those nasty birds. I'm just watching these birds hang out at the table that we vacated, eating our leftover chips because I asked them to get us a fresh bag. Looks like he's drinking our margarita, but <laughs> it was empty. We're hanging out. I was admiring that tree about what's a bird haven. I asked the waiter, he's like, is that? He goes, I hear about it happening every once in a while, but he's like, I heard it's good luck. I said, well, then I am really, really lucky. <laughs> that was the smallest menu I've ever 